Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Excel's advanced filter um, function. Um, in this tutorial we will be covering off um, how this function works and also a nice little trick um, at the end that basically lets you decide which fields from your data source you want to bring back after you've applied your advanced filter. Um, so hopefully you guys find this video useful. If you do, please hit the like button, um, hit the subscribe, and um, if you hit the bell notification, you'll get notified of any new videos as they are released. Um, so let's get started. So the first things that you're going to need to um, have is a data table like this one here. Um, and in this example, we're looking at salespeople by region, by month, and then what sales they actually achieved. And what we want to do is basically filter this um, data table by region and by month and bring back their sales. Um, so most people would probably just go straight to the data tab, apply a filter, and then just go filtering away England um, here, um, and then choose a month, so let's say March, and then there you go. Um, and then some people probably will want to copy this data out of here, paste it somewhere like this, remove your filters, and then yeah, there they go, right? Um, and what the advanced filter does is it does that exact thing for you, so you don't have to. Um, so what we do is we find what we want to filter. So in this example, we just use the region and the month. So I'm going to copy these two headers from our source table over to here. And we're going to create a nice little mini table. Um, so we want England and we want March. I'm going to copy, I can't do that, can I? Um, these two here. So we want England and March, and we're going to paste those there. Okay, this then becomes our criteria um, that we can use within our advanced filter. Okay, so we're just going to um, apply some borders to that, and dress that up a little bit, give those a different header, um, like so, right? So there, that is our um, criteria range. This is our source data, and this here is going to be our results. So what we will need to do now is come over to the ribbon, go to the data tab, click on the advanced filter, and we're presented with this um, pop-up dialog. The first thing we want to do here, um, rather than filtering the list where it is, we want to filter it into a new, or uh, copy it to a new location. Copy the results from the filter to a new location. That can be a different sheet, um, but in this example, I'm just going to do it straight here into a specific cell of this particular sheet. So I'm going to click that option. The first um, options here that we need to uh, provide information for is the list range. The list range is all of your source information, your raw data that you're trying to filter. Okay, your criteria range is the little mini table that we made with the region and the month. And it's important that we have the headers that match the source table. Um, the way that this function works is it will basically go to the region field and filter it to England for you, or go to the month field and filter it by um, March, right? So these headers have to match, which is why I copied them out of the um, source table over to here rather than typing them out. Um, just kind of removes any risk of spelling issues or any phantom spaces that you can't see. Okay, so that's your criteria range. The last option is the copy to location. Um, and I'm just going to select N1 as the location where I want to copy the results to. Once you've done all of that, click OK. And now you can see, because I had these formatted in the same way, it has copied across and applied the same formatting that I had. And it's pulled in the results for the filter criteria. So it's pulled back just England for the month of March, three salespeople and their sales. So as you can see from our very manual um, filter exercise, the results are the same. Now we can take this advanced filter one step further by saying, well, we don't need the region or the month. All we need to know is the salespeople and the sales that they achieved. And to do that, what we do is if I just move this to one side, I'll just pop that down there. I'm going to expand that, right? Um, what we'll do is we'll create another little mini table just here. Um, this time we want the salesperson and the sales. Um, if I paste those headers just here, 
what we can do is apply a new um, advanced filter, so data tab, advanced filter. Our list range hasn't changed, it is still A to D. We want to copy it to another location. Our criteria is still the same, just up here. And we want to copy it to, and now this is where it changes. So instead of just choosing a location to drop the results into, what we do is we actually highlight the headers. Um, and what, it will, what this will do is it will basically, you're telling Excel, I want the results here, but I only want the results for these two fields. Okay, so when I click OK, it was going to pull back just the name of the salesperson and the sales that those people achieved um, within the month of March. And it's as simple as that, guys. It's really useful. Um, it basically prevents you from having to apply manual filters um, and having to copy and paste out multiple results um, across various different tabs. It's uh, quite straightforward. Once you get into the swing of doing it a little bit, um, it basically just makes everything you do filter-wise so much easier. So hopefully you found this useful. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe, um, and hit the bell notification. You'll get notified of all the latest releases. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.